Okay. Actually took two tries. Um, the first try just failed and the other one straight in. So, all is good. Um, yeah, so now that we got that, now we'll be focusing on getting a core at some later point. Um, yeah, um, yeah, the last um, section was pretty long in the, in the turn two. It was long as hell. Um, so, hopefully this one won't last too long and then we'll go to War with Castile again for colonialism, but I'll take another two territories from them, which will probably be this one and this one, and um, take that as well, along with that. So, it, we're now not going to be spending as much in that terms, but we've got to keep some territories going. Um, we've got to keep the colonials and castles Betty going, so I can have a bit of time to do it. Um, yeah, we're going to have them hunt rebels there, and we're going to have them hunt rebels here. But, I believe those three wars were actually quite productive. Took over Argentina and uh, the UPCA, and we forced the religion of the USA to Protestant, which they've already focused on converting, which is quite nice. Um, also, we have picked up a center of trade, which I believe is quite a decent center of trade as well. But we will have quite high because of the fort level. I know inflation, city population, and, and you know all that cost. Um, but anyway, look at that money! Yeah, we're taking that. we will take that. Ch -ch -ch give me money. Give me money! Yeah, we really need to focus on getting a bit of. Um, yeah, I am gonna do this. Because we really need to get the stability up. It will reduce tax by a crap ton, but it's not like I really, I really need to get the stability up by ASAP. Right, and we've um, locked that. I think, yeah, we got gold there, so which is quite nice. Um, Deal with it, please. Well, at least now we got pretty much... We've, we've destroyed Castilian presence in one section. And we're going to... Um, oh, shoot. If I cancel the vacillation, it will... Um, We'll decrease our prestige and stability. So I don't really want to do it right now. We've got to, we've got to have to wait on that. The last thing I need right now is to deal with revolts everywhere. I mean, Muscovy's got like 24% revolt risk because it was the capital. Which, um, yeah, we need to keep people there, actually. <laughs> Yeah, USA's at Walker Steel. If they take that back, I don't really mind. It just gives me another chance to go to Walker Steel. Um, grain, nice. Yeah, we need to rebuild um, the income that we were getting for that. Um, I don't want to build that yet. It's been such a while since I actually built something. Oh yeah, since I've got now Muscovy, that's going to increase my colonists. Nice. And... Let's be honest here, we want 
I want the um, things to happen pretty quickly now, and um, where is my colonies? There we are. We are going to increase these as quickly as possible. Because we want these to be done as quickly as possible so I can um, reduce the amount of things I can put into things. Um, just, yes, heavy frigate, nice. Um, anyway, um, Castillo's do, still dealing with massive internal revolts, which is quite nice. Um, yeah, Granada is now... I appreciate if um, Castile could um, knock him out. Like, uh, annex him completely, but I don't mind that. But then, in that case, um, Yeah, we might as well just build one there. And, um, we'll build one last year as well. And um, build a church in Cambo. I mean, why not? But, uh, the only things that we're going to be doing now since. Uh, yeah. Weird. Um, oh, yes! I an extra year of low stability cost. Noise. That will help for now, anyway. <laughs> gooby gooby fail. Yes. Wow. Fail, Portugal. Just fail. Um. Just a bit of a fail, Portugal. You just got a territory there. You can't even go anywhere with it. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of founding father crap, which is gonna annoy me. But can I want Canada to spawn? Actually, it'd be quite nice if it did. Yeah, I'm expecting a lot of them. Rebels. So, we just need to be on our toes with it. Oh, Portugal, don't be a dick like that. That's the core problem is Kespec. Don't care. I don't really care about Kespec. Unless if it's really anything. Why am I saying that? <laughs> I don't even know where Kespec is, let me just check. Let's see if I really care about it or not. Oh, it's just that. It's just this territory right here. I don't mind losing it. Because it's just fur. What do I want with fur? First low value. Uh, it's kind of, kind of. Unless there's a war with the hands, so that could be pretty troublesome for them anyway. And technology went up, nice. Production tech went up. Nice. I 
so we got ourselves four ships with nothing to do with them. <laughs> the U.S. actually took something <laughs> from Castile. I mean, how much army just could stop? Um, because the rebels, some some rebels took some of my territory, which is not good. Um, well, let's just check my current income now. Yeah, we're still in top by a considerable amount. Um, go back a bit. Castile is at 47,000. Now will be the best time to attack, actually. Oh, we just need to check to see what this is. Barinus? If the USA can actually take territory from Castile, that... Mm, I wouldn't really mind, but it depends on how much territory they're going to take. Uh, truce right now with them. Which expires in two years. So they've got two years left to live. But uh, we'll deal with that in a bit. Yeah, we'll deal with that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Fail, because still. But anyway. I think now is going to be the best time for us to attack them. Because we have got. Uh, we're not going to be spending too much infamy now because we don't have a lot to take from Castile thanks to um, the new countries being popped out shame I couldn't take USA though but you know it's not really going to be much of a big deal um, I'm in back. oh well um, I think we're going to go to a quick war with Castile right now and um yeah we're going to do that in the next part <laughs>